Welcome to Hide Science Video. Notice the note, part two. So, uh, check out the sign. I drew this. It's impressive. I know. I should have been an art teacher. All right, I missed my calling. Time out for one minute. Let me get ready for today's lesson. Ready to go. I feel like Bane from The Dark Knight, you know, just like, ah. Anyway, notice a note, part two. So before we talked about the, uh, the last video, part one, we talked about the big three, three questions, right? Sorry, brain fart. Big three questions. So what surprised me? What, uh, what did the author think I already knew? And finally, what changed, challenged, or confirmed what I do? So that's the first step of notice a note. That's the first step of what we need to be doing. Once we're comfortable with that, now we move to this. So this is just kind of basically the same thing, just a little more detailed, a little more specific things when you come across them when you're reading. Just stop, reflect, think about it, and I'll go over them real quickly with you. Up first, contrast and contradictions. So when the author shows you a difference between you know something you know, something that's going on in the text, or a difference between viewpoints or characters or whatever in the text, just stop. All right, we'll identify what the difference is that's being shown there, or what contradiction is being shown there, and you know just why is that important. Um, up next, word gaps. All right, this is the one I come across all the time because uh, you know. Don't have quite a good vocabulary, some people do. So word gaps, um, it's why the author uses words or phrases that you don't quite understand uh, or maybe confuse you or maybe you've never heard of, right? Just stop for a second. And sometimes you can see there's clues in the text uh, that'll let you figure out what that word or what that phrase means. And if not, it's perfectly fine to use the old Google machine. We all do it, don't be ashamed of it, it's okay. Um, modern technology. Numbers and stats, okay? That means numbers, if you didn't know, All right. or pound, but numbers and stats. So uh, when you come across numbers or statistics in your reading, just kind of reflect why are we using numbers, why are we using statistics, what are we trying to do, what information are we trying to relay or is the author trying to relate to us? Um, just so you can keep that in mind going forward. Quoted words. So most time quoted words offer the pers perspective or the language of the person who is speaking. So just kind of ask yourself, why are they saying this like that? You know, y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all always be like, why you had to say it like that? Right? That's exactly what you do when you come across quotes in the books. You, you do it already every day. I hear y'all all the time. Just do that when you see it in the book too. So it's the same thing. All right. And next, finally, extreme or absolute language. So when you come across the language that leaves absolutely no doubt, is it fact? Is it opinion? Why are we using such strong language? So these are our signposts. Uh, once we get to this point, and I'll let you know, I expect you to start discussing these in your flip grid uh, responses to our text, to our readings, uh, as you come across them. Um, you will see a note sheet. It's like below the vlog section on the website, Hot Science. It looks kind of like this. It's got your big three and your signposts we went over today. I was looking at them too, okay? Right? Um, that's it. Catch y'all on the next one.